Hi there, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to import a plug into Vida.io. Plug is a nice way to view D3 visualization, but it's a bit difficult to play around with the visualization and tweak the parameters. Uh, you can clone it on GitHub, but it's still not very fast and easy. Uh, importing it into video.io will allow you to quickly experiment with the visualization. I'm going to use uh, D3 Noob's uh, directional force layout diagram example uh, in this video. First, I'm going to head over to video.io and create a custom document. I'm going to call it directional force layout. And I'm going to copy the style sheet over. It's going to append to the existing style sheet. Next I'm going to copy the data. Uh, this data is important. And then I'm going to do the JavaScript code. I don't need to copy the D3 load part here since Vita.io will have its own way to handle it. And notice that it's automatically renamed my select body to select Canvas SVG because Canvas SVG is a div element in Vita.io. I'm going to remove this part. And the instruction here tell me that uh, in my D3 document on Vita.io, the data will be called data here. So I'm going to rename the links variable to data. I'm just going to search through my code and rename all the variable with the name links. Once I'm done with that, actually I'm going to copy, I'm going to use my own constants here. Once I'm done with it, I can refresh my visualization here. Uh, let me make it a little smaller so it fits on the left here. And now I can start experiment with my D3 visualization. Let's say I'm thinking of this link distance is too big. I'm going to make it smaller. Uh, 10. Uh, well, that's a bit too small, I think. I'm going to do maybe 30. Uh, I think I like that better. And let me increase the charge to see the separation of notes a little better and do 800 that's too much let's go to 500 and there you notice there are things floating around too much i think I'm, i want to go with some gravity in here i'm going to do let's say 0.8 okay that's way too much gravity let's go back to 0.3 well, now this is the probably the configuration that I would like. Um, let's say I want to change the color of the node to let's say fill to be steel blue and now I have a new color. So it's a very quick way to experiment and play around with different D3 configurations without actually changing the code, refreshing the browser. Um, so it's quick it's simple and you can try and experiment with D3 to understand what it does. So that's all. Um, you can uh, start importing uh, a lot of plug example to Vida.io to see and uh, experiment with them. Uh, happy playing around. Um, let us know if you have any feedback. Thanks.